Hey guys, so today I am filming a grocery haul on bikini crap, crap, what the, restart. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kendall and today I am going to be filming a grocery haul on bikini prep. So these are all the groceries that I'm buying or that I bought for this next week while I am on my NPC bikini prep. I am, when I'm filming this, I am officially 10 weeks out, which is freaking crazy. Um, so yeah, um, I got a decent amount of groceries. So yeah, my groceries change week to week. Like I have like staples that I buy, but a lot of times I have the staples already here at my apartment. Um, the excuse me <laughs> but yeah so without any further ado let's just get to the grocery haul because i have a feeling this is going to take a while so bag number one we got whole foods and i think everything i yep everything i need is in here my acai i use these for my smoothies and it's the pure unsweetened one you really don't need the sweetened one um because one it gives you like extra carbs but also once you mix it up with your other fruits and stuff like that, it's sweet enough. And you can also add like stevia extract that has like zero calories and zero carbs in it. I got more of my collagen peptides. I also put these in my smoothies. Love these so much. I still have a little bit left in my last container, but I just wanted to jump ahead and get some more. Then I have my bread. I use the UD's Ancient Grain Omega Flax and Fiber Bread. It is gluten-free and it is fabulous. It tastes really, really good. I have bananas and I actually freeze these um, for my smoothies as well. They're just the Chiquita brand. I don't know, like comment down below and let me know if you guys have like a favorite brand of bananas because mine's Chiquita. I don't really know why, but yeah, bananas. And then lastly from Whole Foods, I have my pasta and this is the Tolerant Red Lentil Penne and I'm making pasta for one of my meals this week and I'm so freaking excited. Um, the macros on these, okay, so I'll, I'll tell you guys the macros, but keep in mind that this is pasta, but listen for the protein, okay? So for a three ounce serving, it is too fat, which is really good. 50 carbs, but remember it is pasta, but 21 grams of protein. Um, I've had, you know, like bonza pasta. I have some here actually. It's not my favorite. Mm. It, it, like I'll eat it if I have to eat it, <laughs> but I actually prefer this to the bonza. So I'm gonna put these up here we are on to my walmart stuff so i i basically i shop at whole foods for just like specific things like i just showed you guys walmart for the majority of things and then target for like things that walmart didn't have basically but i didn't go to target today because the day i'm filming this is easter and target is not open on easter so i got everything from whole foods and target oh no from whole foods and walmart i have my frozen blueberries and my frozen strawberries and they last me probably like three weeks to a month and it's great these are something i don't normally get but i saw them they're new and it, it made me really excited and it's the green giant cauliflower breadsticks and they are the garlic ones guys so it, i don't i mean i'm sure you guys have caught on i'm gluten free i, I try to eat as less like as little gluten as possible i saw these and i am like i am like a fiend for bread i love bread um but obviously with like trying to eat less gluten and being gluten free i can't really eat real breadsticks but i saw these and i just had to try them so the macros for these so for one stick which is 39 grams so it's 120 calories five fat 17 carbs into a protein and the fiber is one which i feel like is good so i'm gonna try these i will of course let you guys know 
how they taste i of course i read the reviews before buying them because i am literally that person i have to like i don't want to waste my money on something that isn't good so i always read the reviews and people love these things and some people said they can't even tell the difference between these and like regular breadsticks which makes me really really excited so i will update you guys and let you guys know how these taste but so we have oh she got a little mixed up it's okay hummus um because i'm going to be doing like a little like hummus bubby hi i'm filming i'm going to be doing a little hummus or i'm going to be putting hummus on a sandwich this week because i've been craving sandwiches for some reason <laughs> so i just got the sabra roasted garlic hummus then I, this is a big russet potato it's literally like the size of my head it's very very big um and this is just because i wanted to make french fries tonight so got these or got this and i got my tortillas these are the little tortillas i use they are just the mission yellow corn tortillas and they're extra thin and they're gluten free um so for three tortillas it's one fat 25 carbs and two protein um and they're like little like fajita or like street taco size fajita or tortillas i got some more pink himalayan salt this one's like a big one um i got so guys so i got this one right here this little one from whole foods it was like five dollars <laughs> and then i got this one from Walmart that was like five dollars as well so look at the difference and they're the same thing so got this and um yeah I only started using pink Himalayan salt when I started prep because I guess it like digests better than regular salt I don't really know it's just what I heard then I got some turkey breast because I'm going to be putting these on my sandwiches and this is the lower sodium I try to get as low sodium things as I can and then this is for today. I only have these on the weekends. This is just a sparkling ice, which is just sparkling water and it has like nothing in it. Um, I got this to drink today because it's Easter and I feel like I'm gonna be surrounded by like yummy foods. So this helps definitely like curb cravings. And I never tried this flavor actually, so. But the one of the kids that I babysit said it tastes like, uh, what is it, cherry Sprite. So I'm gonna try it out. So then I have spinach. I use this either in my smoothies or in my pasta. I'm gonna be putting this in my pasta this week. Just got more strawberries. I normally would get two of these, but I had some left over from last week. So I just got one. And this one's really, really small, but it'll do. Also got, just some like just lettuce it's crunch it's the better crunch lettuce i don't really know um and i'm going to use this for uh i'm going to use this for my sandwiches this week and then also my salad and then i have what do i have so i have my pasta sauce this is the pasta sauce i use it's the best pasta sauce it's the Rouse marinara. I used to use the tomato basil, but this one tastes way better in my opinion. My protein soy milk. So this is actually the unsweetened one. I normally just get the original one, but they didn't have it today. So I got the unsweetened one and we'll see how it tastes. I really just put it in my smoothies. Um, and then like on the weekends, I'll put it in my Cheerios, but yeah, so it's really not gonna make that big of a difference, I hope. All right, and then literally there's three more things. Well, two more things technically. I just have tomatoes. I'll be using these for sandwiches. And then I have, so then lastly, I just have oh, my ground beef. So lately I've been getting the 93%, but it seemed like I had, like from when I was setting up my macros for this coming week, I had some foods that had higher fat than normal. Um, so I couldn't fit in the 93% because I had a little bit more fat. So. That's perfectly fine. So I got this, the the 96%. And then it have normally they would have like a two pound like like thing of it, but they didn't have that today. So I just bought two one pounders. That is literally everything that I got for this coming week. But yeah, that's basically everything that I got for this week. 
while on bikini prep i'm 10 weeks out while i'm filming this like i said and it's crazy because in two weeks i'll be eight weeks out which means there's two more months of until my show which is insane to me um but yeah but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and honestly i got it done faster than i thought i would so yeah but i hope you guys enjoyed i love you guys all so much and i will see you guys in my next one Toodaloo.